Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I wanted to recommend you some good cages to use with your mice because unfortunately I still see a lot of mice living in tiny cages or tanks and they are such an active species of rodent, they really do deserve to have so much space so I wanted to recommend some cages to you. So it can be quite daunting trying to find enclosures big enough to use with your mice so I wanted to dedicate today's video to showing you some of the cages and tanks out there that you can buy and use with your mice. So I've tried to select a variety of different cages, both wire cages and tanks, available in a range of different countries, but some of these may not be available in your specific country, so I'm sorry if you can't find some of these cages, I have tried to represent a range of different countries. I have linked every single cage down in the description. If you can't find these cages in your country, I do recommend trying to find something very similar or just going and making your own DIY cage of a similar size instead. But I am only gonna represent cages above the average minimum. Most of these cages do start at about 70 by 50 centimeters, which is a good size for a small group of females. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the cages I recommend using with your mice. So starting with the wire cage recommendations, the first one I have to recommend is the Savic Hamster Heaven 80. This is about £64.99 and it is 80 by 50 by 50 centimetres. So the bar spacing on this is 9.5mm, this may be a bit big for younger, smaller mice, you may have to watch them with that, but it is still a really good cage, it has a deep base which is about 17cm and it does have two access points, a front and a top opening door. This cage does come with a lot of plastic shelves and a wheel inside, you can just take these out and make room for other items instead. Another large wire base cage is the Skyline Barney Pet Cage. This is about £59 and this one is 100 by 54 by 45 centimetres. The bar spacing of this cage is quite good, it is about 7mm. The base tray is about 16cm and it does have a front door and a top door. The top door is quite big, giving you plenty of access into the cage. This cage does come with wooden shelves, I do recommend just taking these out. As soon as your mice pee on these, they are going to start to stink. You could possibly treat them with something to make them waterproof, but I do just recommend taking them out. The next cage is the Alaska Hamster Cage. This is a really popular one. It is only £34 and it's 85 by 485 by 44 centimetres. The bar spacing on this is a bit bigger, it is 9mm, the base tray is also a little bit smaller, it's 15.5cm, but the doors on this cage are really good and big, you've got one on the top and also one on the front as well. But this is a really popular cage with hamster and mouse owners and I definitely think that has to do with the low price. So the next cage is the Savic Mickey 2XL. This is £81.74 and it's 80 by 50 by 38 centimetres. The bar spacing on this is good, it is 7 millimetres and the base tray is 16 centimetres. It does only have a front opening door though. From the picture it looks like this cage comes with a wire shelf, you will want to remove this to make it safe. Also it seems to come with a plastic wheel which doesn't look big enough so you will want to buy a separate wheel instead. So moving on to the in between cages and tanks we have the Skyline Falco small pet cage. This is £99 and it's 75 by 45 by 63 centimetres. The bar spacing of the tank topper is 8mm and the base tank itself is 37cm allowing you to put a lot of bedding in there and it does only have one top opening door but you can take the whole top section off. I do think a cage like this is a really nice in between if you're not too sure whether to get a cage or a tank this is a good combination of both. Similar to that I also found the Pet Ting Taylor large glass base hamster cage that's a mouthful. That is £127.31. This one is 78 by 48 by 34.5 centimetres. The bar spacing of this cage is a centimetre which may be too big for some smaller mice so I do recommend taking that into consideration but this does have a front and a top opening door. But it's there as an option if you wanted something that is a combination of a cage and a tank. 
So moving on to more tank type setups, the first one I have to recommend is the Living World Eco Habitat. This has come in three different sizes, starting with the small which is 78.5 by 58.5 by 55 centimeters, all the way up to the large which is 118 by 5 by 78.5 by 61 centimeters. So this is a ventilated plastic panel enclosure. The top is made from wood and it does have really big gaps that are about two centimeters. Mice are gonna squeeze through this, so you're either gonna have to mesh this out or just replace the entire lid instead. But I do really like these enclosures. They are such a good size and they allow you to put so much bedding in the base, which is really good when it comes to your mice burrowing. Next is the Skyline Small Pet Terrarium Kerry. This is 129 pounds 95 and it's 75 by 45 by 37 centimeters. The bar spacing on this is seven millimeters, which is good. And it does have a front opening top as well as the entire mesh top sliding off as well. Although it's pricey for what it is, this is a good example of a fairly decent sized tank you can get for your mice. If you don't want to get a glass enclosure, you could also get the Furplus Duna Multi Cage. This is £43.99 and it's 71 by 46 by 31.5 centimetres. The bar spacing on this is a centimetre, which again may be too big for your mice, they may squeeze out. So you may have to mesh this out with some smaller mesh and it does only have the top opening door on the top. If you wanted something slightly bigger, there is also the Maxi Duna, which is 99 by 51.5 by 36 centimeters. This cage is a really good option if for whatever reason you don't wanna have a glass enclosure, but you still need a cage that's relatively enclosed. Next, we have the DRD Terrarium. This is either around 90 pounds or 109 pounds. Depending on the size you go for, it does come in 80 centimeters or a 100 centimeter option as well. I wasn't too sure on the bar spacing of this, but I'm assuming it would be suitable for mice. It does have a sliding front panel, which is mesh with two front opening doors. And the base itself is about 20 centimeters, allowing you to put a decent amount of bedding in there. Alternatively, you could also keep your mice in an Exoterra terrarium. These are originally aimed at reptiles. They do come in two sizes, the medium, which is 60 by 45 by 45 centimeters. I do recommend going with the large instead though. That is 80 by 45 by 45 centimeters. These are often available secondhand for around 60 pounds to 120 pounds, depending on the size you go for. Brand new they are a lot more, so I do recommend trying to get them secondhand if you can. And they also have a front and a top opening door, but the top of the enclosure is a really, really fine mesh. You can't hang anything or attach anything to the top. So that is something to take into consideration. If you're thinking of getting one of these, you do have to get a bit creative with how you attach things to the top. If you were looking for something a bit bigger, you could also go with the IKEA Detolf. This is originally a glass display cabinet from IKEA. This is around 60 pounds and it is 163 by 43 by 36 centimeters. And you just turn this on the side to create a glass enclosure. With this, you will need to create a custom lid to keep your mice in. Obviously this will add to the price of it, but it is fairly simple to make if you're willing to do a little bit of a DIY to make this into a really good enclosure. This is a really good option because you get so much enclosure for your money. I do currently use this with my mice and I have a whole video talking about the pros and cons of using it. I'll leave it linked in the iCards and the description. Alternatively, if none of these cages are available or you can't afford them, bin cages are also a really good option. So these are custom made using a storage bin or tub and you mesh these out with wire for ventilation. A good example of a bin cage you can use is the IKEA Samla. This is 78 by 56 by 44 centimeters, and this costs around 15 pounds. Obviously you have to buy all of the extra supplies to make the mesh, but this is fairly cheap and fairly simple. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube of how to make a bin cage. One's by Victoria Rachel and Erin's Animals. I'll leave them linked down in the description. But bin cages are a really good option, especially if you're on a budget, you can attach multiple bin cages to each other. Or if you have a pre-existing cage that isn't big enough for your mice, you can attach this to a bin cage that's a better size and you don't have to throw that cage away. You can still use it by attaching it to a bin cage instead. 
Lastly, you can just use a tank or aquarium they sell at the pet store. These will usually be aimed at reptiles or fish, and sometimes they do sell them with a mesh lid instead. But please, if you're gonna go down this route, please make sure the tank you're using is big enough. I recommend 20 gallons as a minimum, but 40 gallons is gonna be a lot better, especially for a group of females. But these are sold in most pet stores like Petco and PetSmart. These are gonna be about 40 to 60 pounds, obviously depending on the size of tank you go for. Some resources will still say that a 10 gallon tank is okay for mice, but once you've got a decently sized wheel and a house in there, there's really not much room to put anything else. There's really no room to put any real enrichment. So I really don't recommend using a 10 gallon tank with your mice. Regular tanks like this are a really popular option to use with mice, especially because you can put so much bedding in there. Please just make sure the tank you're using is big enough. So that was just some of the cages I recommend using with your mice. Obviously there's so many more that I haven't mentioned out there that you could possibly use with your mice. Please just make sure you're using a suitably sized cage and give your mice as much space as you can. I hope this video was helpful to you if you're looking for an enclosure for your mice. Hopefully this has narrowed it down and helped to make your decision a little bit easier. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to see any more animal content from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!